search of another try from one end to the other. Keenan's gone after it. Where's the ball going to bounce? Oh! It is a very strange atmosphere indeed. We've been seeing pictures coming from the Southern Hemisphere of the Australian and New Zealand games. Crowds back and how wonderful that is to see. At least we're back up and running with international rugby in the Northern Hemisphere. This part of the Guinness Six Nations. There have been some friendly games this weekend and more to come tomorrow as rugby returns to what is, for the moment at least, a new normal. That is the sizable shape of Marco Lazzaroni, the 25-year-old second row who takes it on Ireland again, up quickly, but up too quickly, and the Italians have made a break, and there's an opportunity for them maybe to get on the board early. What a break, and put to ground is Violi. The numbers arrive, an advantage being played, and Ireland are shaken, and the Italians are stirred, and almost away, a clean line break, and they give away the penalty, and I think it's going to be even more than that, as a yellow card, is likely to be not produced. Clearly back on your feet, not clearly releasing. And it's Connor Murray who finds himself going to the sin bin. Ireland, remember, down to 14 as Kean Healy has a little dart. Advantage again as Stander goes for the line, doesn't get there. Connors has a Release! knock at the door, but Use it's shut in move. his face. All the time, Ireland building. Are they there? I think they are. It's CJ Stander. Who gets over? But it's pats on the back and on the head for all of the eight. I actually need to stop Ireland here what? because they're just creeping forward. Don't move. Moving it infield, which is sensible because that also opens up the options for Murray, left or right. And Murray now takes and feeds Bundiaki and Henshaw, and the wide pass out is to Keenan, and he steps back inside. He's going to get a try and debut. Really? Hugo Keenan for Ireland who have their second try and a big broad smile on the young man's face. Dreams are made of moments like that. Connor. The sevens expert has turned into Connor. the 15s expert. That's tremendous on your debut to get the, get the ball in hand. I think it's probably one of the second time that he's had it. Again, it's just simple hands. They were practicing this with Mike Cat. The width of the pass, the width of the pass before. And he's just come over. Canna doesn't like that too. He just steps inside, takes the takes the hit from the defence and enough strength to go over. Violi taken on by Bellini. Ireland go after it at the breakdown. Kalen Doris. Referee says back, that's OK. Back, move, and we're going to continue and Bundiaki will feed Connor Murray and Murray in space as Ireland go in search of another try from one end to the other. Keenan's gone after it. Where's the ball going to bounce? Oh! And Keenan has his second try. And Ireland defended everything the Italians blue, could throw at them and then go from one end to the other. Well, he felt, felt like crying when it was wiped off about two or three minutes ago, and now he can smile because we're not going back for this, we're not going for the TMO. There's a lot of pressure on Italy because I know Georgia got beaten by eight tries to whatever last to one last night, but it's the first hit at. A lot of talk about Georgia coming in the Six Nations. It'll be very interesting as national, you know, the the cap that's coming up. Oh, intercept! And a lifeline thrown to the Italians as Padovani will scamper home, read it beautifully. <laughs> Nobody in the backfield for Ireland. And Italy have their first try. Heffernan and Ireland on the Italian five metre line. All sorts of movement. Doris has held Small. up just long enough to Same claim ball. possession, and the ball gets a real. Momentum behind it early, and they're over, and the arm is raised, and Ireland have their bonus point. Who's the man to get up with the ball? It looks like it's Connors, is it? On debut, is going to get the slaps on the head and on the back. Connor Murray now. Caelan Doris. Doris four metres away, two metres away, twists and turns, but he's put to ground. Murray, Sexton, try! <laughs> Fifth one of the afternoon. Connor Murray's in, a, in an absolute armchair there. He can hit three people, he hits his fly half, he hits his captain, and like I said, I think the, the floodgates are about to open at the Aviva. Once... 
course, if Ireland were to win with the bonus point in Paris. Yes. <laughs> and look, it made them capable of doing. We've all seen the French, but this French side. Turn out oh, just going first side, on his feet, I no think problem. We've seen a corner being turned in France, no matter what happens over the next week or two. What a pass. Yes. Bundiaki picks up a pass from heaven. And in he goes. Bundiaki gets another one for Ireland. But let's go back and look at that pass. Peter Omani, take a bow. Again, you know, you don't don't leave it to the backs to do all the flash stuff. This is again turnover time from Italy. They're killing themselves out there by just doing simple mistakes. Look oh. at that! Oh, wonderful! Samoa taken by Byrne, and it's with Heffernan, and it's winding its way or arcing its way towards the Italian line. Now they straighten it, try and put a little bit of power behind it. And get the momentum going, and they're over the line. And can they ground? They can. Always the same it's another one in the bag for Ireland. Banda, Braley, Garbisi, and there's a little gap there, and Garbisi's through it, and off he goes. And Ireland are going to get sucker punched in the end. And Garbisi on debut. The young man is in for the try. That is a shame if you're an Irish fan, but a delight if you're an Italian fan. How crucial could that be? How crucial? If they get a bonus points against France, it won't matter. But if they just get a win against France and England start ratcheting some points up against Italy, well, we'll have to tune in next week. Well, that's that at the Aviva Stadium. Ireland utterly dominant and having scored their bonus point try after 20 minutes of the second half. They really closed that one out, winning it by 50 points to 17. We're all set up for next week.